In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus K2CO3, calcium chloride plus potassium carbonate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. You can see I have two potassium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a two in front of the KCl. That balances the potassiums, two chlorines, two chlorines here. We have one calcium, one calcium, and then a carbonate, and a carbonate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chlorides are very soluble, so AQ. It'll be aqueous, which means dissolved in water, split up into its ions here. Potassium compounds, also very soluble. Carbonates, though, when we have carbonates in general, they're insoluble, and calcium carbonate is insoluble. That means these two will react, this will be insoluble, It'll be a solid, which means it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Chlorides, very soluble, AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, calcium's in group two. That'll be two plus, and chloride ion is always one minus. So we have the calcium ion, Ca2 plus. I won't write the states. Let's do that later. Plus two chloride ions, Cl minus potassium, that's in group one, so that's going to be a one plus. The whole carbonate ion, two minus, good one to remember. So we have two potassium ions, K plus, and then we have our carbonate ion, that's CO3, two minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up in net ionic equations, so we just write Ca CO3, we'll keep that together. And then we said plus and minus, so two potassium ions, just like in the reactants, and two chloride ions, just like in the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides, the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. In the reactants, I can see I have two chloride ions. In the products, I also have two chloride ions. These are spectator ions. We cross them out. In the reactants, two potassium ions. Again, in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus K2CO3. I'll clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus potassium carbonate. You'll note we have a two plus and a two minus. So this charge adds up to zero, net charge is zero. Over here, this is a neutral compound, net charge is zero. So charge is conserved. We also have the same number of atoms on each side. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus K2CO3. Thanks for watching.